Or was that somewhere? I, I remember we played. Was it War of the Walkers? We played a mod before as a test. I think it was War of the Walkers where we found this amazing POI. And oh my god! It is! Greetings, guys, and those fellow gamers. My name is Games for Kicks, and welcome back to Smarted Days to Die, where I play 7 Days to Die modded. Using War of the Walkers, we survived the Horde Knight, and it was doing okay. I think the Horde Knight was pretty okay. It was definitely better than previous vanilla hordes. I don't know if it's because of the mod or because of vanilla, but we had a constant flow. Now, it wasn't very strong because we had a very low game stage, but it was it was constant, which was really, really good. We could never really completely relax, which was really nice. I like that. Now, at some point, obviously, it ended a bit before 4 o'clock. It ended, I think, about 2.30, but still, it was much better than before. Anyway, what we're going to do today is we're going to make sure that we have a lot of work prepped up and queued up in our underground uh, mining facility or smelting facility and then we're gonna go and visit some POIs at least the first one because it's probably gonna be an episode or two that we can spend in there looting then we're gonna do some work again on the base probably for defenses for the next horde and on our main base as well a little bit of work we have to balance it and uh, then maybe we're gonna visit the next POI that's the plan going forward until the next horde night anyway so I hope you guys are gonna enjoy the episode if you do oh what's happening if you have <laughs> strong things away <laughs> if you do remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button so let's get started. Before we do anything though, we're going to have to make some ammunition. Luckily, I was able to get armor crafting up to level three, uh, armor crafting, which actually was quite straightforward. It was only three points. And I think then it was like another three points and then six points. So it's okay. We have loads and loads of points. And um, then we had to learn 7.62 round crafting. And that's it. Pretty much end of story. Now, we have some scrap iron already prepared for the next Horde Knight, so we are actually really well prepped in advance. And we're going to work a little bit, as I said, on our main base over there, but not in this episode. In this episode, I want to go POI, and I want to get all my smeltery stuff started, so we can have concrete pumping out at some point non-stop. Now, let's queue up these bullets. There we go. We can make up to 330. I think 250 is plenty. Actually, 240, because I think 250 is the stack size, and let's increase through the mod. We're going to do that. There you go. And we probably should, let me see here, they do give us, uh, no, they don't give us ammo crafting because that's a 1 to 10 skill. Okay, so let's leave it here, let it craft, and we also want to repair, we're going to have to get to Tungsten soon, guys. We're going to have to get to level two, level 100, we're going to have to do some things that get us to level 100 because we're running low on Tungsten, on Forge Tungsten. Maybe, what class quest do we have left? Let me see, do we have any left? The white meat, yes, the white meat. So people are saying that I come from rabbits and chicken, though I'm positive I killed a rabbit before and it gave me um, the meat meat, not the white meat. So, I don't know. Maybe it was a pig I killed and I'm mistaken it for, a she for, for sheep, for a rabbit. It happened before. It happened before that my mind plays tricks on me. So let's go and we have everything. We're repaired. Okay, oh, we want to merge these guys here as well. Let's, let's get some forged iron out, actually. And let's repair these babies. And this one. 259 and now we should be able to get this to 261 It's only a hand weeder. It doesn't really matter, but it's still awesome that you can do these things We're gonna take this hand weeder with us and uh, because we have a lot of space So let's take this with us in case we can make more ammunition. We have our crossbow. We have 92 bullets. Excellent I'm gonna get prepped. We're gonna see you guys in our underground underground smelting facility and then we're gonna go and check out a POI. I'm so excited because they're new POIs to me and I have no idea what to expect in them. You might know them already, but I'm really looking forward to it. Just to address the auger crafting thing, a few of you have said, oh, craft the auger, craft the auger. Now, there's a couple of caveats to it. Like, first of all, the only auger parts you can craft are the ones that you already have, yeah? So you can't craft auger parts unless you have auger parts. Or you have this which i don't you need what do you need C crafted in a workbench and weaponsmithing ah okay so hang on a second because we have all the workstations unlocked here weaponsmithing let me see woodworking weaponsmithing station and we can pick it back up again you see i kept them there safe okay can we do any of that we level up 
Now, see, these guys are there, so I can level up armor and weaponsmithing and gunsmithing because look how much that cost right now. That's insane. Okay, toolsmithing is 12 points as well. We're gonna find something for it, but look at this. Like, weaponsmithing is 15 points, gunsmithing, 15 points, armor smithing, uh, still very cheap at 5 points, but that's protection, that's different. Anyway, so everything is very expensive now, so these recipes are very, very handy. Now, let's see. We're gonna put this station down here. And we should be able to pick it back up. Yes. Now, let me see. What can we do? Auger plate? Oh, we need an anvil. Oh, baby. Okay. Um, oh, you're making, you're making loads of stone. Okay, so why don't you stop this for a second? Ah, damn it. You can't take the anvil out. Okay. Okay. Do we have another anvil spare? Let me just quickly check. No? Uh, no. Okay, fine. Ah, oh, jeez. She damn. Okay, so let me take... I'm going to have to take all that out. There we go. That's all nonsense anyway. So let's take the anvil out. Let's put that in and see what we get. Auger parts, a caliper. Do I have a caliper? I think... Did I not have a caliper? Yes! Oh, I love it! I love it! This is amazing! We have a caliper! We can make auger parts! This is oh, I love it! And this is my favorite part where we do auger parts. <laughs> okay, why do I cannot do them? Because I need the fuel. Okay. It's five seconds. Why is it not going white? Why are you not going white? Oh, I have no clay. Okay, genie mark. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm missing the basics here. Okay, we need some, <laughs> we need some iron. Okay, let's get, let's go and get some, um, oh yeah, we have some iron here. Ah, it's happening. It's happening. Auger parts. Bam. Bada bing. And let's see what we're gonna get. Let's see what the quality is. It's 250. We gotta make an auger plate as well. Just because it's so cheap to make. Look how cheap it is. Let's do another little bit of iron. And can we make two and then merge them together? That would be awesome. Come on. You see, this is this little still a book. You have to go out and back in, which is really annoying. So let's make another one. And then make one more auger part. And then. We're going to merge them together. I think we can merge them together. Let me see. Oh, we can. I think we should make another one because I think we can get it up to 300. Oh, yeah. Let's make another one. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Let's see if we can get it to 300, guys. That would be awesome. Oh, baby. 300 auger. Handcrafted pristine quality it's because of our hand crafting skills okay don't make chainsaw parts did i make a chainsaw part no i made an auger part so let's make one and okay we need to wait a little bit and then make another one and then we'll be 300 as well and i'm gonna get the other parts and we're gonna have an auger. this is gonna be amazing okay here we go guys i made some new handlebars so we're gonna have a really nice auger and i found two more plates actually that were broken that i just repaired so we can even go beyond 300 because I think we can go to 350. Because you can go 100 above what you can craft. And I made enough handles. So we have two handles. I made another one. Where's the other one? I made another handle. I'm pretty sure I did. Okay. Doesn't matter. We're just gonna do one more. It didn't go anywhere else, did it? No. Okay. Fair enough. There we go. Now. Where's it gone to? Oh, there. So let's merge these together. That's 300 as well. And then our old auger, if we assemble it, take the handle out and the engine and the auger plate. Oh, we have another auger plate. That is awesome. So we can repair that. We can repair that. Look at that. We're going to have a very, very good uh, high level one. Look at that. 311. And this will probably be 350. Now. Oh, 330. But that's okay. That's okay. That's absolutely fine. And now we can take these, assemble engine that and this and look at this beautiful it's 244 because of the engine but once we find a good engine this is so awesome we have a nice auger now all we need now is a little bit of oil or whatever gas look we're gonna take these 2000 we have so many gas barrels so why don't we actually take these gas barrels make some gas cans out of them there we go 1800 beautiful there we go we're down now let's see if this auger works also um, someone was asking me, I think, I think uh, um, about armor, like why it took so little damage. Basically, when we finished one of our class quests, we got a lot of Kevlar armor. And this Kevlar armor is 
basically protecting you quite a lot. Like you can see here that it has a concussive protection, uh, puncture, res uh, overall, I think overall, let me see if it shows us overall actually our protection level, because I don't know how it exactly counts it, okay? So when, when we get hit, there's obviously a certain amount of damage that gets deducted, but I don't know how it calculates that based on these, qu on, on these uh, concussion and puncture or whatever, because there's no strict, um, oh, damage deduction. It just says concussive uh, protection, puncture protection, radiation protection. So it doesn't really say exactly what is protecting in that sense against a punch from a zombie. I don't know under which which it falls under. And it doesn't. It gives us a total armor value value here, I think. But I don't know which one is what, to be honest. Like, so um, yeah, maybe someone who knows a little bit more about that can shed some light on that. Anyway, let's see what the auger can do. And I believe I forgot to upgrade the corner. Oh, there's a hole in the corner. Genie Mac, we're gonna have to fill that with a stone. But first... So if we do it with this, it's faster, okay, than the auger. And it gives us 25 stone, and every time we hit it, one... Okay, uh, one iron ink. Ah, Genie Mac, I don't even remember. So let's put that there, let's put that there, let's put that here. And now let's see how much we get from one stone, okay. One, two, so we got exactly 50 stones and three raw iron ingots. Now let's do it with uh, the auger, which takes a little bit longer. There we go. And we got 56 and four. So overall, we seem to get a little bit more with the auger, which is really nice. And the auger, the limit is that we can craft it. So we can merge things together, merge items together. And it's based on mining tools. All right. Immunity system level five reached. Okay, that's interesting. We are going to our first PI. Holy balls. It's a little bit of a hole, which you just get out. <laughs> anyway, level 15 reached. What the balls? Where's that coming from? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Now, the POI we're going to go to is over here. And this looks awesome. I have no idea what it is, but we're going to go there. Now, we're not going to get a lot of looting done in this episode. Oh, excuse me. Coffee hiccups. Because um, it's already, we're already a good bit in the episode in, and I got sidetracked making the auger, but I really wanted to follow up on that because you guys mentioned it. And am I driving in the right direction? No, I'm not. Holy balls. This is not the right direction. It is the right direction, but it's after the village. Yes. Oh, man, I was just saying, like, why did I put a put a point there? We already been here. Well, we haven't been in all the buildings, yeah? But in, we have been in a few to look around. That's fine. And I don't think we have been... Do, did, we, did we go to the popping pills? I don't think so. Do I need to go popping pills? No, we're going to do that another day. Like, let's not get sidetracked. Asian food. Oh, there's a food place. I like this, that they actually have these POIs as well, like the food and all that stuff. Anyway, I was tri cycling. Uh, cycling. I was motorbiking along here. And um, this amazing POI just opened up over there. It looks absolutely... I, I want you to see it from the distance. I don't know which one it is now. I don't remember because I found three. But it looked absolutely fantastic. So let's go around here. I, I came along here. I was like, oh, what is that in the distance? And it looked really, really, really nice. My beard is making everything itchy. Holy balls. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. What the balls is this? I mean, what is it? <laughs> And where's the official entrance door? Beard, stop itching my nose. So we have an entrance here. Well, there's a locked door. We have a Hawaiian dude here. We don't care about Hawaiian dude. There seems to be no... Oh, my genie marker balls. There seems to be no mines around here, which is good. So it's like a compound. It's more like a compound than a building. And is that a front door? Oh, my lord. There's, I thought there was a door. Okay, so why don't we... Just park bikey on the main road and then have a look. Let's check it out. Now, I'm going to be careful because I have no idea if we're going to get into problems with... We're going to pick all that stuff up, of course. All the cars and everything. I mean, we have a lot of room in our big bags. Okay, there we go. Oh, look at all the different stuff that grows here. Like yucca and everything. That is awesome. I love that about this mod. And I love the big bags. I, I, a lot of comments actually, like not a lot, a few comments are like, oh, big bag mode is cheating. 
and it's like not real. It's like it's not tough enough. It's not hard enough. And uh, I think another one was like um, that I don't have enough zombies in my game. The game is not hard enough. And it's like, do you know what? You 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 want to be that hardcore? Go right ahead. You know, play the game your way. And I played my way. <laughs> And um, also, there's a huge difference if you play for yourself or if you play for Let's Play. This bug mod is the best thing that ever could have happened to Let's Players, okay? They, do they don't want to play hardcore, yeah? You can play hardcore, and if you have fun, you know, playing, like, an episode where, which I did before in Nomad, where all we do is crawl around and loot one building in 20 minutes, that's fine. You know, these things can be done, yeah? But I like to just get in, loot as much as I can, get out, and see what we can, and progress in other ways. Like, so, and that's the good thing about this game. It has mods, and I'm not justifying myself. I play how I want, end of story, you know? So you don't have to agree with it, but, uh, you know, not everybody has to play your way. You know, that's what the good thing is about this game. It has settings for a reason. Now, um... I like the Big Bug mod, end of story, and I really hope that in the long run the uh, fun pimps add something similar to the game because they are adding more and more items. And if you add more and more items, you're gonna have to start thinking about, okay, maybe we let them craft the backpack, you know, at level 50 or something, you know, that maybe can take a little bit more stuff in the back, even if it's just two more rows than the original, you know, just a little bit of a gesture. The same for the bike as well. Let it craft a bigger basket, which doesn't mean make the original smaller. It just means make the next one you can craft at level 80, you know, a little bit bigger, something like that. And then, you know, people who don't want to use it, guess what? Don't craft it. Don't use it. End of story, simple as. So uh, you don't have to use it. But uh, anyway, so let's continue. It's just, I just found it funny that a lot of people give me crap about the Big Bug mod. And it's like, yeah, whatever. Um, what is this? This is like a gas station. Oh, look, I'm going to pick all that up as well because I'm a hoarder. We have some water here. This is actually a really good base. I just noticed that now. Let's actually check the buildings out as well. Oh, that's empty. Did I just loot this? I probably did. I was just talking too much waffle. Actually, you know what? We're gonna leave these intact because they will respawn, which is great. Let's go in here and have a look what this is all about. I know it's unlocked, but I want the resources. And these zombies already spawned in, which is good. Actually, you know, let's... Arrows? No. Machiti. Oh, hello. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, I love it. It's like, bam! Right in the face. Oh, it's an egg. I was hoping kind of for... Okay, these lights. Let's see what we actually get from them. All right, we have a lot of those resources. We don't really need them. I just wanted to see what we're going to get from those lights because I know the... Oh! Scrap frames. Are you insane? What are bug... Garage storage. Oh, my God. That is awesome. They have such potential for good loot because I think they have quite an interesting loot table. That is awesome. I didn't even check that out, that there were, like, gas storage places and they're empty. Oh, come on. Don't be empty. Give me crappy loot, but don't be empty. Empty is, like, such a sucky feeling. Well, you know, empty is fine. You know, I mean, people might have been there before you, you know, in the real world, in the apocalypse. Well, the real world, there is no such thing as an apocalypse. You know, if it comes, there, there will be no survivors. Anyway. We have been in here. Let's, before we go into the big buildings here, let's check out what this building is about here and it's all concrete is that radiated oh my god is that radiated or is that just grassy green it doesn't look like it's radiated okay just looked a bit odd how can we get into here okay Interesting. Interesting. Uh, okay. Is there any entrance in here? Dude, do you know where the entrance is? No, not here. Okay, thank you. Oh. She's trying to come from behind, is she? Oh, there's somebody inside. How do you get in here? I bet you it's from under... No, there's a door. Look at that. I'm blind as a batty. Blind as a batty. Oh, guys! Oh, my lord! Guys, is this where you can dive underwater into a secret tunnel or something? Or was that somewhere? I, I remember we played... Was it War of the Walkers? We played a mod before as a test. I think it was War of the Walkers, where we found this amazing POI 
And oh my god, it is. It's not the same POI, but I was kind of just wondering. I wonder if it has the same logic. Look at this. Oh, and we can't get up. We can't get up. Oh no! How how do we get up? There we go. Oh, look at this. This is awesome. Oh, he hit me. Boss. Shenanigans. I call it shenanigans. What is this? Oh, this is just a stone. This is so over awesome. And we can actually go up there as well. There's some lights there. So maybe there's actually something we can loot in there as well. Let's let's take this. And seeing that we can't... Can we make steel yet? We have to check because then we're going to take this apart. This is so cool. Oh, man. A Remington 8. We can merge all the Remingtons together. So let's see if we can actually make already steel. Yeah, we can. Okay, so we're not really too fussed about uh, taking this apart. Man, this is so cool. I can't believe that actually was a thing. Okay, actually, anyway, guys. Ah! Okay, that came from outside. I was like, why is that? Why is that happening? Anyway, I've got to leave this here, guys, because we're way over time. I... Oh, what is that over there? Okay, that's just the booty, the body. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This POI is going to be so much fun, guys. We're going to check it out more in the next episode. If you did enjoy the episode, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And see you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel spaß and happy gaming. Okay, there seems to be no secret way to get into this one underwater. So before we're going to start breaking through the wall or something, let's have a look and see if we can find another secret passage or something into it. Okay, we are a little bit chilly, so let's put some clothes on. Where's my jacket? Oh, don't tell me I left my jacket behind. Oh, we just take this off. Yeah. Storage chest. Okay, nothing in it. Okay. Let's just ignore the zombie. Okay, so far nothing. But they're all garage loot boxes, which... Oh, an auger! They have such good loot chances. Oh, look at that. He's actually opening up for us. But I'm really more interested in seeing if there is another way into that as well. So let's go here. Check this out. Oh, there's a door. Maybe that door goes somewhere. I don't know if it was visible from the outside or not. Okay, so far, none of these chests really had anything in it except that one box. Oh, there is a... And, and, oh, it does go into the other place. This is awesome. I love this. This is so awesome. This is so awesome. Man, oh, the loot is just, oh, man. Oh, it's like, it's, it's like, oh, my, this is everything I ever wanted in life. The other guy is just angry. Oh, another auger bit thing, thing, drill. Okay, we did that. We did that. Okay, and anything here? No, we already did all that. I'm getting confused on what I looted and what I'm not. Um, there we go. And we did these two. Excellent. And now let's do the boxes. The hidden stash. Oh! <laughs> hidden stash, baby. Did you see that? <gasps> Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. It's not as good as what we have, but we're certainly going to keep a hidden stash. Oh, my dear Lord. Did you see? Oh. Oh, no way. This is unbelievable. 